everybody, my name is Holly Draper and I am the creator of Shop Draped. Um, today, uh, I'm going to bring you guys something different. Um, we're going to be doing a sewing tutorial today. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make a really quick and easy tube top. So, let me show you what we need. Okay, so for this tutorial, we're actually going to be using Java print. It's a little bit different than dashiki. It has a little bit more intricate of a pattern. And we're going to be using two panels of this. Um, we also use Java print at draped because we love the color and we love how we can cut on the pattern and give a really, really cool look. You guys will see in a second. You will also need for this tutorial one inch elastic, scissors, and measuring tape. So for the first part of this tutorial, we are going to be measuring from our collarbone about to wherever you want your top to stop. I think I want mine to stop at about, you can do 15 inches for me. I'm extra large, so I need to cover my belly. I don't, I'm not one of those extra large girls that have like the really cute like flat belly. I'm curvy. <laughs> so I need to keep that poof covered up. Next we are going to measure out how much elastic we're going to use. So you could always use the measuring tape to come around. top of your bust. Oop. And measure like this. Or you could just take your spandex like I typically do. Come around. Make sure that it's snug. And I would cut probably about right here. So let's go ahead and cut out our fabric. So here I'm just folding out um, how I'm going to have my fabric laid out. Um, Java print is really, really easy to cut. It has really, really easy guidelines. Um, <laughs> I'm just pointing and saying, see? Uh, I'm folding it in half and getting ready to mark out um, where I'm getting ready to cut. So I love using Java print within draped because it is so easy for me to tailor customers' needs. Um, I tailor customers' measurements to whatever they need at no additional cost. If it doesn't fit, you can always send back your items for me to fix. It's no problem. It's very important to me that my customers can wear exactly what they purchase from me. That's the whole purpose of buying something that is custom made, right? <laughs> okay, so here I am just trying to get my measuring tape correct. And I am looking for my 15 inch mark for my specific measurements because it's my desired look. So I'm marking off 15 inches, but I want you guys to also add an additional 2 inches for hemming and creating an elastic case. You guys will thank me later. Now, marking off measurements is so important. If it's cut too short, your outfit will not look right. If it's cut too long, your outfit will look drabby so you want to make sure that your measurements are right on point so here I'm just going and I have added my additional two inches and I'm, I'm marking that on my fabric all right now it's time to cut it out so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and cut your two panels in half at the top. Okay. 
And next you want to cut out your measurements plus two inches. Going along, going along. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> All right, it's time to take it over to the sewing machine. All right, here I have folded over the top of the shirt just one inch so we can go ahead and start creating a elastic case and I'm sewing it's really important actually that you iron after you have folded over your um, one inch casing just to get a more cleaner look um, I know ironing can really be irritating for some people but you really want your clothes to look nice Now that we have finished our casing, it is time to insert elastic. Um, find a clothespin um, and add it to the end and start scrunching up your fabric. Well, at least pull it through, pull the um, elastic through with the clothespin. And your fabric will start to scrunch up, which is what we are looking for. This is very time consuming, to be honest. <laughs> when you reach the end, go ahead and sew. Spread out your scrunches and sew on the other side. So now what we are doing here is we're going to be joining both sides and sewing down. If you are a beginner, I would strongly suggest that you use pins to uh, secure both sides. Um, I really hate pinning clothes. <laughs> so I basically eye everything. But if you want a very, very neat, clean look, I really advise that you pin all the way down and not do what I'm doing here. <laughs> so here I'm just cleaning up just loose threads, just making sure that my work is neat. And you know what I totally forgot to do? I totally forgot to hem. <laughs> <laughs> so I am actually going to go back and hem the bottom of the shirt. So here I am hemming the bottom of the shirt. I have folded in my clothes, I think about an inch, maybe a little bit less than an inch. And I started to sew. So after you're finished hemming, you are officially done. And here is the finished look. And voila! You have finished your top. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And I'm going to leave a gift in the description bar for you guys to get a 20% discount off of Draped. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And let me know below if you guys want to see more tutorials. Alright, see you next time.